Hey guys, because the first video gathered a big number of views, I decided to do another one, which is actually a continuation of the first uh, project that we started. Uh, in this video, I will show you how you can add, an, uh, add new data functionality in order not only to display your data, but also add new rows uh, to our database our database uh, which in our case it's an uh, excel sheet is uh, disabled from here uh, we will use uh, our uh, vba form to add new data and further on we will continue with uh, other functionalities so uh, in order to have an uh, add new uh, functionality we will uh, do like this uh, only for uh, the design uh, part we will copy the frame and <coughs> we will uh, uh, rename it in order to be different from the first one so if this is uh, the data this will be the add new data frame add new data and uh, here we will add uh, a set of controls which we will uh, uh, be similar to the columns that we have in our database and also a button in order to save the data so in order to add the controls we will need the toolbox from, from where we will select the label and also the text box since we have this package we can uh, take it with copy paste one two three and then double it for the second column it's simply copy and pasting good so now we have six fields because we will add the data except the total so the first is order date region and representative order date region and a representative and then we have item units and unit cost <coughs> item come on item units and unit cost as it's as i said uh, before we will need also a button a button that will be named saved save so we will say we will change the um, caption property of this button renaming it to save okay and this get data will be refresh data good so now since we have the design already done we can also uh, have a preview here so you see that in the downside we have the controls <laughs> 